What's going on guys? Welcome back to Any Sport. Today we're looking at the top 5 biggest scandals in NBA history. At number 5, Tom Donahue betting scandal. Betting has become increasingly prevalent in the modern era of sports, with players and even referees often finding themselves on the wrong end of gambling problems. Tim Donahue was the NBA referee between 1994 and 2007. He had quite a decorated career in that period, officiating in 772 regular season and 20 playoff games in total. However, he was involved in one of the most controversial NBA scandals of all time. Donahue was a serial gambler and used his knowledge of the NBA, the referees, and the coaches to bet and even attempt to fix matches. He was even involved with organized crime gangs, according to multiple reports. Donahue was eventually sentenced to 15 months of jail after pleading guilty to two charges. Donahue went on to reveal that many games in the NBA were fixed for the league's best interests, including the 2002 NBA Finals between the Kings and the Lakers. Donahue claimed that personal fouls were often overlooked as the referees wanted to extend the series to seven games. Following Donahue's claims and arrest, NBA Commissioner David Stern made significant changes on the guidelines for referee behavior. At number 4, Tim Hardaway's Homophobic Comments Former Dallas Maverick and Miami Heat guard Tim Hardaway made headlines with some extremely homophobic comments during an interview with Dan LeBetard in 2007. In response to John Amechi's revelation that he was gay, Hardaway launched into a homophobic rant that shocked the NBA world at the time. Quote, well, you know I hate gay people, so I let it be known. I don't like gay people, and I don't like to be around gay people. I'm homophobic. I don't like it. It shouldn't be in the world or in the United States, Hardaway said. Yikes. Hardaway also threatened to get any gay player he knew fired from the NBA. Although he would go on to apologize for his comments the very next day, he was still removed from the NBA's All-Star Weekend activities and also fired as Chief Basketball Operations Advisor by Trinity Sports. At number 3, the Dallas Mavericks Sexual Harassment Scandal In 2018, Sports Illustrated published a report providing details about widespread sexual harassment in the Dallas Mavericks organization. According to the report, there was a widespread harassment and inappropriate behavior in the team's ticket office, which was confirmed after conducting interviews with 215 current and former employees of the Dallas organization. Much of the blame was attributed to the head of human resources, Buddy Pittman, who failed to listen to the complaints of many of the victims. Although Mavericks owner Mark Cuban was also accused of negligence in the matter, he was soon absolved of blame. At number 2, Kobe Bryant's Sexual Assault Scandal Kobe Bryant had established himself as one of the league's top players back in 03. However, his reputation took a massive hit in July of that year when he was accused of sexually assaulting a hotel employee in Colorado. Bryant had flown to Colorado to have surgery on an injured rotator cuff. He checked into the hotel in Edwards, following which he invited a 19-year-old employee to his room and allegedly forced himself onto her. Bryant denied the sexual assault claims that were placed against him, although he did admit to having consensual sexual encounters with that same woman. The accuser eventually refused to testify in court, and the charges against Bryant were dropped. However, he was forced to provide an apology and also settle an out-of-court civil case which tarnished his reputation to a great extent. And at number 1, Donald Sterling fired for racism. The outspoken owner of the LA Clippers, Donald Sterling, landed himself in serious hot water after making racist statements to his mistress at the time, V. Stavinio. Sterling had a controversial past, including late payments to players and staff, as well as being renowned for heckling his own players during games. However, Sterling's most controversial actions came in 2014 when the Clippers were preparing to face the Warriors in the playoffs. TMZ Sports released a recording in which Sterling could be heard making shocking racist remarks to Stevanio, chastising her for her association with African American people. His statements rocked with the NBA and he was subsequently banned for life. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this video of any sport. If you enjoyed, do me a favor and hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a fantastic day.